Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, Batwoman could be canceled due to low ratings. Surprise. Surprise. It depends on who you ask. Some people are adamant that Batwoman is going to get canceled. And then you have other people like, uh-uh, uh-uh, Batwoman's not going to get canceled. Her ratings soar where? I don't know where her ratings are soaring. Everything I've heard is the ratings are not good, and uh, if this show, the show did get picked up for full 22 episodes, but that's probably so they can dump it on the HBO Max. Like, probably. Like everything else. Yeah, I'm sure they'll finish the 22 episodes it was picked up for, because yeah, they're going to want to put it on there, but... Yeah, so we'll read the uh, for and against. So nobody seems to know if this show has been canceled for sure, but according to a source that talked, we got this covered, they're like 95% sure it is going to get canceled. I mean, Warner Brothers at this point is pinching pennies. They're trying to save as much money as possible. They've actually canceled shows like Swamp Thing before it even aired. I honestly have not watched this at all. I, I have not cared. Um, I just didn't care, so I didn't watch it. And after the trailer, I was like, no. Yeah, I don't think anybody cares at this point, but we'll, we'll see. We're gonna get the counter argument here as to why it's the best thing ever. So before we get into the video, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants here on Clownfish TV. Uh, we're hoping to hit 100,000 subs soon. We're about 73,000, a little over 73,000. Yeah. So you guys have been awesome. You guys have been amazing, and thank you for the support. So I had heard rumors for a couple of days that they were talking about possibly canceling Batwoman. Uh, we've talked about it on this channel before. And we got this covered apparently has a scooper, a scoop, a, a scoop. lead, okay. a scoop, a big steaming. I, I like scooper better, but okay. A big, a big steaming scoop of, of info here uh, talking about um, how Batwoman has gotten off to a, a pretty rough start. Even before the premiere, the show seemed to be in trouble. You think, you think uh, they even, she even ditched uh, Comic-Con. Now, apparently it was because she had neck surgery or something, but mm -hmm. Uh, they didn't really talk about her too much at Comic-Con. Uh, whether it was the titular... Why do they keep using that word? I hate that word. <laughs> That's a sexist titular it star. It just annoys me. Yeah. Uh, alienating a large segment of the potential audience or poor reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. It looked like the CW's next big project was facing a tough uphill battle. No kidding. Now our sources. The same ones who informed us of both the Green Lantern show and the Arrow spinoff before they were officially announced are telling us that Batwoman may already be staring cancellation in the face. We've been told by people in the know that the show could soon be axed due to lackluster ratings. So right now I don't know yet. If the ratings don't improve, they're gonna, they're gonna chop it. Yeah, I think, you know, they're getting a full season, but again, I think this comes back to HBO Max. I think HBO is footing the bill for shows that otherwise uh, would not survive. Look at Genlock. Genlock technically probably shouldn't get a season two, but it's geting a season two because they're dumping it onto Well, this HBO doesn't Max. sound like it should have got a season two either, but they're going to give it one more season and attempt to right the ship. So we're going to throw good, more good money after bad because we're yeah. going to see if the ship can be righted. Okay. Yeah. So I, I don't know how they're breaking this up, but they did say that they have a 22 episode order for it. Um, but yeah, I think, I think, I think that's a pretty accurate, you know, throwing good money after bad, you know, is it, are people going to subscribe to HBO Max to watch Batwoman? No. Yeah, executives <laughs> executives are likely to give the series at least one more season to attempt to write I was it. I that, but okay. yes. Things are looking dire for Gotham City's feminist vigilante. There is, of course, still time for the show to turn things around. Unfortunately, that may be tough to do. Recent trends say the ratings for Batwoman have been steadily decreasing. I didn't know it could decrease more than it was when it started. We're now into negative. Negative I, viewers. I, they're We're pretty paying bad. People to watch so how could it decrease more? We're paying people to watch Batwoman at this point. This week's episode was the lowest point for the series, drawing in just 1.16 million viewers. I'm now, surprised it got that many. I would be happy with 1.16 million viewers. That's right. Make it so. Make it so. Uh, the amount of those who later watched on DVR has yet to be calculated. They fudged those numbers. But you know what? That's what they were they were banking a lot of this on. Oh, it's successful because of DVR. And they kept saying that, you know? And yeah. they kept arguing that. They did that with Doctor Who, too. They are like, oh, you can't go by the ratings because a lot of people watch it on DVR. So the ratings aren't the actual ratings. They're not the actual ratings. Now, a day or two before this uh, came out, or maybe it was a couple days after this. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, it was a couple days after. Supergirl and Batwoman ratings soar. No cancellation in sight. Oh, so we're going to go for and against. So this this guy, Joey oh, Davis. Oh, Joey really, Davis. Okay. Really likes Batwoman. Despite unsourced rumors being pushed by sites like we got this covered in the the unabashedly alt-right bounding into comics. We're going to talk about that. This is just like yesterday. 
Um, the unabashedly alt-right bounding in the comics. Batwoman and Supergirl are in no danger of being canceled. In fact, ratings are soaring. Where? I don't know. We're, we're going to see. Tell us, Joey. Tell us. Last Sunday's overnight ratings found CW programming up across the board with Batwoman registering 1.16 million wait, viewers. Wait, wait, wait. But that's not much more than what they said it was And the other thing. Yeah, second best of all CW shows. Well, it sounds like they're all Key about. being second best of all CW shows. CW shows aren't that great. I'm sorry. They're I'm tanking. Call it like it is. I think the CW is about. I think the Arrowverse is about done. I mean, Arrow's ending, and I think yeah. once Arrow ends, that's that's it. I, yeah. I think people. Were I didn't around. really like Supergirl. I tried watching it a couple times. And I was like, eh. Supergirl was close behind, up almost 10% in total audience. These aren't the kind of performances that get shows canceled on the CW oh, yeah, network. On the CW network. So basically, it can be absolute garbage, but on CW, that's good number. So for them, they won't cancel. So here, I don't know who this guy is. Uh, certain fan sites are engaging in a subtle form of trolling by pushing the narrative that DC's female-fronted shows aren't as popular as others on the network. It has nothing to do with being female-led. They just maybe aren't as good. Maybe like certain bloggers are uh, engaging in subtle forms of trolling by Nate. Well, not, not so subtle forms of trolling by actually calling out blogs that disagree with them and, and using terms like unabashedly alt-right when describing them. Yeah, right. Uh, okay, this is a television writer, Craig Balfour. I don't know who he writes for. It isn't as extreme as the Rotten Tomatoes IMDb review bombing the alt-right does. The alt-right I want I want to interrupt here for a minute and, and, and two. Um, yeah, uh, Craig, uh, here's the thing, and Joey. Um, I've seen it go the other way too, where they get mass groups to review bomb things upwards, whether or not they deserve it or not. Like, oh, it's going down, so hurry up, everybody go over and give it good reviews. It works both ways. So the far left does everything as much as the alt right does when it comes to this. And you know, and guess what? There are people who don't like it that don't even lean right. Imagine that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I love this. I'm like, this is so. 2015 anytime somebody doesn't like a show that you think they should like that these bloggers think they should mm -hmm. like just because of them being more diverse or more progressive then all of a sudden uh all the haters are quote unquote all right, right exactly and I it's mean, like you know they didn't like it because they didn't like the acting or i didn't like something else about it um i'm a woman I like strong female characters. I honestly haven't watched Batwoman, so I can't tell you much about that one, but I have watched Supergirl and I thought it was boring. So I don't watch it, but I've watched Legends of Tomorrow and I liked it enough. And I used to watch Arrow and I liked it enough. I just thought Supergirl was boring. So they're saying if you don't like Supergirl and you don't like Batwoman, uh, the intended message is the same um, from these blogs and uh, Rotten Tomatoes, women, women should be kept in their place. Yeah, you know, I never got that by people who don't like, uh, people not liking Batwoman. Is that what she is, Batwoman? Batwoman, yes. Yeah. Not bad girl. That's just a totally because they don't like. I have not yet heard one person tell me they don't like bat. They don't like Batwoman or Supergirl because they want women kept in their place. I have not heard that from one person. Uh, pff, Probably because they get an earful if they said that to me. But that's another story entirely. Uh, so uh, that coming from Joey. Thank you, Joey. So and he's trying to keep me in my place, you know, because I'm probably now listed as alt right because I disagreed with him, even though I'm a woman. So he's gonna he's gonna tell me where my place is too. Even though, hey, newsflash, Joey, I don't even lean. I don't even lean right. We lean left. So yeah, well, we, your head can explode now. Here in the uh, here in the real world, where you know there are far far more people that you would consider quote unquote alt right because. Uh, they're they're normal and they're not super far left, um, but a lot of these writers I think are based out of places like you know Portland mm -hmm. and New York and you know et cetera et cetera. Anyway, this is the unabashedly alt right. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's, that's right. That's their new tagline. They disagree with them. They should put that bounding in the comics. Unabashedly alt right trademark. There you um, go. I should send them a suggestion. Rumor: Batwoman's declining ratings could lead to cancellation. My God, he marked it as a rumor. It's clearly marked as a rumor that said if things continue, it can be canceled, which is what people have been right. saying. No one's saying it's 100% canceled that I know of. No, it says when time came to tabulate a critical reaction on Rotten Tomatoes, users tanked. The audience scored a rock bottom. 11%. It was bad. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, so they're talking about this. No suspected cancellation date is mentioned, but the axe looms. It'll come down in the dark of the night, most likely. That's true. What will happen... Uh, they will not make a big deal about it. They just won't renew it for a second season if that happens. Now HBO Max could say Batwoman, but you have to realize now this is where this is where the Joker comes into play. Mm -hmm. The Joker made a billion dollars for mm -hmm. Warner Brothers, which also owns uh, Batwoman, mm -hmm. right? Because we're in the DC universe here, and the Joker made a billion dollars despite bloggers like this uh, trying to destroy this movie. 
saying that the people who supported this movie were unabashedly alt-right. Here's the thing, what the takeaway is gonna be, because the Joker made a billion dollars despite the media attacking it. And, and we went out and looked because we just had this Joey dude. Yeah, uh, we looked oh, at, I said, I guarantee you he wrote things against the Joker. Right, so Geeky said, why don't you go out and see what he has to say about the Joker? Joker is no laughing matter. Mm -hmm. Uh, in this joyless and frankly boring take on the character, golden opportunity to make a statement on one of society's most polarizing issues was missed. Because it wasn't the statement he wanted it to be. Right. Uh, so basically this whole article is about gun violence. I mean, this guy is, I mean, it's, it's very fitting that he has a cartoon for his avatar because you literally cannot find a more cartoonish mm -hmm. blogger. Um, well, you better be careful. He's going to go on Twitter and whine at you. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm serious. He's probably going to go on Twitter and whine at you. They, That's what they, they all do. do. They did. We have we've actually had some journalists uh, take issue with us and, and tweet uh, up a storm. Hey, Tony. And, quick. <laughs> and, and I, I didn't find it until like weeks later and somebody had mentioned it because we get so many notifications now yeah. that I don't even see 90% of them. Sorry, guys. Basically, so basically what this comes down to is you don't if you don't share my opinion, then you're all right. Is basically what this comes yeah, down so to. Yeah, so this guy... Like, what... It doesn't come down to that anymore. So because of guys like... I'm going to be honest. Because of guys like uh, this one and many, many other journalists at these pop Journalists culture, in quotes. Pop culture bloggers, right? Pop culture bloggers, they actually push the Joker to, I believe, a billion dollars. And you know what's going to happen. I mean, just look at his, his take here. He said, you know... Um, he said, Warner Brothers, who green-lighted this dumpster fire, and star Joaquin Phoenix, who walked out of an interview when asked to be shared the concern from some that Joker might end up inspiring exactly the kind of people it's about with potentially tragic results. I bet alt-right is in here. I bet I bet he uses... I'm well, he used him. it a lot in the last one. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, here we go. Uh, alt-right. This, of course, has made him the champion of the alt-right. So there's a lot of people <laughs> I know who, who went to see it who aren't alt-right at all, and they liked it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so. right? It doesn't make a billion dollars because statistically, statistically, uh, quote-unquote, the actual alt-right, the actual quote-unquote alt-right is very, very, very tiny, and they could not push a movie to a billion dollars. No, right? and here's the thing. They keep going about the end of the day, Joker is literally about a serial killer inspiring people across the country to commit murders. Okay, yeah. I've seen the trailer for the Harley Quinn, for the Birds of Prey, and I'm sorry, I don't really see how that's any different. I saw it, well, she's scarred and damaged because of a man. Okay, so wait, she can have mental issues and it's okay because a man caused them? I'm watching this. They go around deliberately trying to like hit men in the nuts and, and they, it's, if, you, if you didn't get the idea that they are man bashing, they literally man bash, like mad bash men in like the head or the balls or whatever, and that's acceptable. Um, because, you know, she just has issues because of, uh, of her being abused by a man. But this is not acceptable. I'm sorry, as far as I'm concerned, it is the same coin, different sides. And if you can accept one, you have to accept the other. I personally say yay for both, whatever. You know, to each their own, go see it if you want to. That's what I say. So Warner Brothers actually had to send uh, Blair Rich, who is their marketing VP, mm -hmm. very, very smart lady, out to uh, put out these forest fires. And she was like, the Joker got dragged by the media into conversations that it had no place by the media in. in like conversations like this one yes yes you know who also was calling everybody um alt right because they don't like the the new batwoman batwoman Bat um there could be a lot of reasons why you don't like something. This is the problem. Media keeps labeling people who don't like things. You don't like She-Ra, you're a racist misogynist. You don't like the new Batwoman, it's because you're misogynist, alt-right, whatever. I'm just so tired of this. I actually read an article today. Um, I had to write an article for the Disney blog and they were talking about how there's an auction for Disney merchant, or Disney memorabilia merchandise, things like that. They actually were trying, their job was to describe this auction. This whole article was supposed to be about this auction, but this person took a whole paragraph in the middle of an article about an auction to go on about uh, Disney's anti-Semitic leanings and as ethnic, how he's unfair to ethnicities and different things like that. And if you want to buy it, it's a small world, uh, you know, token doll, go ahead. I'm like, your job was to report on this auction and instead you spent a paragraph. I mean, the site was one you'd expect that to be on. Right. But it was still, it was like, really? This is the problem. You can't report anything about using your own personal rinse on everything about your beliefs. Stick to sports. Exactly. <laughs> you know? So anyway, Joker made a billion dollars because of I, I thoroughly believe it's because of bloggers like this who have told who told people not to go see it. Okay. Uh, and they went to, to, to a lot of those are, I think, spite views, but also was a very good movie. And people are tired of this. Now, Warner Brothers takeaway from this is going to be 
let's not listen to the media. And if something's not making money, if we can make a billion dollars off a of Joker, why are we bankrolling Batwoman? Mm -hmm. Because the only people who are complaining about Batwoman are people like this who are simultaneously well, that's the, that's the Joker's article. yeah but they're simultaneously uh bashing the joker while right. praising batwoman so if batwoman's not making us money but the joker's making this money uh and a lot of people aren't watching batwoman then you know warner brothers in the place where they're at right now where they're cutting corners wherever they can because of at&t they're gonna do it they're gonna cut it i don't you know? know i don't i never watched batwoman because i really just don't care um but i did watch supergirl and i've watched arrowverse i've watched arrow and i've watched uh legends of T legends of tomorrow i watched a lot of it and i liked legends of tomorrow the best and i didn't really like supergirl i'm sorry i gave it a shot i watched a bunch of episodes i didn't like it i thought it was boring i'm sorry didn't watch batwoman at all because the, the trailer turned me off completely and i'm a woman Cause I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of this weak ass writing where you have to be to make a strong a female, a strong female. She has to be, you know, quite frankly, a lesbian and anti men. And and thank God she's here to save everyone. And I'm really tired of it. Cause that does not make you a strong female character. Sorry, I'm not bashing lesbians. I'm not bashing women. I'm bashing this idea that men are a problem. Men are always the problem. And the other way a woman can be a strong character is if they don't like men, and they replace a man and put men in their place. Cause that's where their faces belong. That's where their faces belong. Yeah. Uh, anybody who's new to the channel does not even know what that they means. They have no idea. Uh, it, was a, it was a long time ago. I made a mistake of saying it. I didn't mean it that way. There was a picture of Catra and she had like a, uh, almost like, it was almost like a cod piece type thing with like a face on it. And I said, that's where men's faces belong. And it was a joke. And, and I cannot live it down for anything. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that woman's being canceled or not. I'm it's a rumor. It is a rumor. But I think the more that these uh, blogs push... Uh, the more the audience is going to push back and they might actually inadvertently get the show canceled. Right. Just because they tell people they're not allowed to dislike it and out of spite, they're going to be like, screw you. Because they can't just say, oh, it's a rumor. Um, yeah. They haven't, nothing's been decided yet. The ratings are kind of going up and it's okay. Just make sure you watch the show and it'll keep it on the air. No, 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 we can't say that. It's because of uh, trolls and alt-right people and all that because that's all they can ever blame it on. Yeah. Maybe it just isn't good. I mean, if you, if people, okay, you keep saying it's a vocal minority. If this vocal minority has much power and it, of a, a small group as you people think they do, they aren't a minority, first of all. And secondly, uh, that, that doesn't explain why things bomb, you know, in the whole world. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news. Views yeah. Sorry. And, it's supposed to be 10 minutes. And rants. Uh, lots of I'm rants. I'm sick of it. Especially the rants. I don't think you've talked about that I'm one. I'm sick of much. Ben telling, to, you know, getting mad and saying things like, you know, if you don't like it, you're all right. I'm like, well, up yours. I'm a woman and I can like it, not like and not like what I want, Joey. Um, yeah. Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird how that works? It's usually like white dudes telling women and minorities who they should and shouldn't like. I'm just putting well, they out don't the listen. hypocrisy. Or if you say that. you don't like it, you're either called a name or you're completely stepped over like you didn't exist because you don't no. go along with the narrative. Yeah. So I'm I'm if I had to bet, if I had to bet, I'm gonna say she's gonna be a one one season wonder. But I'm know. not gonna take that. I'm bet not because... watching it, so it doesn't matter. I mean <laughs> I really a lot I of people honestly are. don't care if they get rid of it or not. And if they get rid of it, they get rid of it. If they don't, they don't. I don't care because I don't watch it and I'm not gonna watch it. So All right. So we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, please subscribe. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.